The blast was heard in several districts of the capital. Within minutes, the fire had ripped through the gas station, leaving behind a pile of charred rubble. It was rainy last night and people took uh, shelter at the filling station. And because it is a filling station, there were a lot of fuel particles around. It got contaminated with the water. So it was able to run from the filling station to a distance where there was a, a naked fire. And they picked the fire from there. Firefighters battled the blaze until the early hours, while soldiers and police helped rescue people trapped in the wreckage. Thursday morning, an anxious crowd gathered around the scene of the tragedy, some already mourning their dead. Dozens of people are believed to have been killed, and the death toll is still rising. We thought we have finished retrieving the bodies, but as we were doing our salvaging, we, were, we would begin seeing some other bodies again. Initial findings suggest that the fire started by accident. Neighbors say the station had been jam-packed for several days with people seeking refuge from the torrential rains. At the time of the explosion, nearby sewers had overflown and knee-high water levels made it almost impossible to escape the blaze. Ghana President John Mahama suggested that the floods were partially caused by shanty towns that prevented water drainage. We'll have to take some measures to be able to avoid this happening in the future. The time has come. You know, for us to remove houses out of waterways and the public should understand that it is necessary to save everybody else. I mean, this loss of life is catastrophic, almost unprecedented. Flooding is a recurring problem in Ghana, especially at this time of year during the rainy season.